We bought 100 of the most futuristic tech products like AI meta glasses, an invisibility shield, a driverless car, and so much more. Some of these products can literally change the world, while some might even replace humans. And what you're looking at right now isn't even the real me. It's an AI version of myself generated from our first product, the Apple Vision Pro. And this is just one of the many things this futuristic product can do. Like watching a movie about space on the moon. When you're actually in your living room. I'm literally watching this laying down on my back and it feels like I'm on the moon. You can also watch multiple videos at once. And you can even sit courtside at your favorite sports games. When in reality, you're just watching Tanner play basketball. Kobe! And you can even play Fruit Ninja in real life, but without the fruits or the mess. I'm excited for this product, but it does scare me at the same time. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine a world full of people wearing that? We would look like a bunch of zombies, <laughs> for real. <laughs> Up next, we have a real life invisibility shield. Check this out. I'm gonna need that. Guess what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nice bro, yeah. That's not what you were doing. What the heck? You guys have five seconds to find Tanner. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, and if you didn't find him, tap to subscribe. <laughs> this next product could change the future of food delivery. So I have a bowl of cereal, and I place an order for fresh milk on a drone delivery, and it's literally about to be here. Oh, okay. That's it! I'm about to complete the order. Oh. What the hell was that? It broke oh, milk. This Why is not would they use glass? <laughs> this is the world's first human-sized 3D printer. You can apparently make a life-size clone of yourself using this machine. No way. I'm gonna clone myself a girlfriend. Uh, first, I have to scan my entire body so it can generate realistic 3D features of myself. Caleb, turn the machine on. All right, here we go. Right now, it's using lasers to get a complete scan of Alan's body. And while it's printing, we're gonna go show you guys some more products. Next up, we have the Aqua Jet. You can use it to propel yourself underwater, just like Aquaman. And there's plenty of fishes for me down in the sea. Hey, Mermaids, but ladies, what the? And now, the moment you've all been waiting for my 3D clone. Oh, oh it looks just like you. It looks a lot like you. A lot? We're gonna test it out on my face ID. <laughs> what the hell? No way. I told you it looks like you. We just cloned you a new twin. Next up, we have the future of driving, driverless cars. Apparently in the future, they have robotic cars that can pick you up and take you anywhere without a driver. But we just ordered one and it's coming to pick us up right now. Ooh, look, you're turning without anyone even moving it. No way, dude. Our Uber is here. Dude, that's sick. That was insane. All right, take me home. Oh, it's taking us home. Yes, sir. Professional driver. God. <laughs> this is what happens when you shoot something without a bulletproof vest. And this is the first bulletproof t-shirt. And we're going to see if this product can stop the same arrow. Three, two, one. Oh. It completely knocked off the arrow tip. This is the first arrow. This is the second arrow. Oh, no damage. Dude. This thing really is the future. Here, we have the Magic Pro workout mirror. This thing is so futuristic that you can choose any exercise and it comes with AI personal trainers. They'll fix your form if you do it wrong. You stay here until you lose 100 pounds. Guys, let's go test some other products. This little thing here might look like an AirPod case, but it's actually a device that can correct your posture. All you do is slap this device on your back. If you slap for more than five seconds, you get shocked. Ow! Oh, God, I felt that! So we're gonna put this on box since you have a bad habit of sniffing things that you're not supposed to. Yeah! We're gonna go try some more futuristic tech, but box, I'll keep that good posture if I were you. Good luck. Nine hundred ninety 
99? 1,000! Bring in your arms for better results. Like this? That's better. That's so cool. I'm gonna get ripped in no time. Woo! I can already feel the results. Next up, we have the most futuristic glasses. The AI Meta Lens. Oh, dude, they look sick. So not only can they record, send messages, and take calls, apparently when you put them on, they'll scan people and show you their personal information. Wait, really? Let's try it out. Let's do it. This feels illegal, but that feature will definitely never get released due to invasion of privacy. And done. It's finally the end of my workout, and it's time for the grand reveal. Oh! I know, right? Check it out. All right, I'm just kidding. It's a muscle suit. <laughs> but technically, this is a futuristic product because this is how my body's gonna look like in the future when we hit 50 mil. That's a promise. Subscribe. Next up, we have one of the most futuristic vehicles, the 360 rolling car. You guys wanna show them how it works? Let the ball roll. Ah! Oh my God, he just crashed. Give me the ball. Someone stop it right now, please. Oh my God, I'm about to throw up. They keep crashing. Someone stop grabbing my balls. How do you guys feel? I'm never playing with balls again. Get me out, get me out, please. This is a ferro fluid speaker with symbiotes that react to music. What? That's sick, isn't no it? No way. That's the coolest speaker I've ever seen. It looks like it's dancing. I know, and good thing it's trapped in there because it looks like it's trying to jump out and latch onto me. Uh, I don't think the symbiotes would want to latch onto a fat host. Scientifically speaking, of course. I wonder what happens if it does latch on to someone. Well, then let's get out of here so it doesn't happen to me. This is the first robotic chess board. If you don't have anyone to play chess with you, then this is perfect. It has 20 difficulty settings with level 20 being able to be even world chess champions. And to test it out, we actually have a world chess champion right here. And if you can beat this robot, then I'll give you $10,000. My name is Ding Li Lan. I'm the first Chinese world chess champion. And I'm also a three-time Let's get the game started, okay? I can literally monitor the game in real time, so I'm gonna let you make your first move, and I'm gonna go test some more futuristic products. Good luck. This vest that Tanner's wearing is the future of VR gaming. It can mimic sensations like bumping into a wall, opening a door, and even the impact of a punch. Oh my god. And Tanner's gonna be playing this really violent game to tell us just how much he can feel. Oh, dude, I'm scared. Come on, hit me. Why aren't they hitting me? You do realize this isn't even real, right? Yeah, but I still felt it. One thing we know is it works. I don't know why anyone would want to wear this. <laughs> John? What the hell was that? This thing is really smart. Next up is Moxie. Ooh. It's an AI powered robot used to play with kids and help cultivate their social skills. If you found a hidden treasure, would you want it to be strawberries or seashells? Bow. I don't think Moxie likes you, Sean. You can say. I want to do this. What? Ooh. Moxie, let's go to say. sleep. Of course. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 hey, do we trust Sean with that thing? Yeah. Checkmate. Well, it looks like you lost. I just feel like I let humanity down. I lost to a robot. But, you know what they say, the night is always darkest before dawn, so I guess I Let's move on to the next product. Behind me is the world's most advanced laser projector. On top of giving a really cool light show, it can also project your image on it. Check it out. <laughs> that dude. thing is drawing us! Yeah, yeah, it's actually cool. What, what the? Dude, why did they draw you so big, Alex? I think they were drawing you. If you guys think one drone is cool, how about a million? Where? Right here. Oh, what the hell is that? Dude. It looks like fireworks, but it's all 
drone! Oh, wow. That was amazing. Beautiful. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Next product. Up next, we have the world's first 3D printer that can print chocolate. This machine can literally print a human replica of yourself made entirely of chocolate. But first, we need to scan my entire body. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. Kill, go a little higher. Yeah, right there. The heck, Sean? Keep scanning it. I scanned it. Now the machine downloads the scan, and all you have to do is wait for it to print out. And we're gonna go test some more products in the meantime. I bet Sean would taste good. Bro, stop saying that. I bet Sean would taste good. Stop saying that. This is an instant life preserver. If you're ever in trouble underwater, all you have to do is pull the cord and it'll fill with compressed air and it'll float you back to the surface. This thing is perfect for people who don't know how to swim. Okay, so if you're drowning like this, all you have to do is twist it and it'll bring you back up. This could actually save your life. Next up, we have something that might bridge the gap among all the people around the world. Translator AirPods. With these, you can travel to any country around the world and communicate with anyone. That's what? insane. Between the all of us here, we can speak over 20 languages and we're gonna see if it's true. So if Sean was in China and couldn't understand anyone, all he would have to do is put the earpiece in his ear and another piece in someone else's and they could have a conversation. Well, I would a swan bow tie. <laughs> you said, I love my twins. That's actually what I said. <laughs> So it works for Chinese, but let's see if it works for French. Si on était en prison, tu serais ma copine. Bog, there's something wrong with you, dude. If we were in prison, you'd be my girlfriend. Ya le bleu, tu joker. Says, I love your ass. Is that what you said? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> The next product might be the most futuristic one. The Moonwalker shoes. You can literally walk at the same speed of someone running. Let's try it out. I was literally jogging and I could barely keep up with the Moonwalker shoes. Next up, we have this robotic golf ball that you can control using your phone. If you can put a hole in one with this golf ball, I'll give you $500. Seriously? That easy? But what Tanner doesn't know is, I can steer the golf ball in any direction that I want, like this. Alan, get my money ready. Oh, wait, 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 what the hell is happening? I think it's just really windy out. But there's no wind! Actually, that's a robotic golf ball that I've been controlling using my phone. So you're telling me I don't get $500 for Popeyes? Yeah! Calm down, Tanner. The next futuristic product we have is this inflatable dome that will protect your car from anything. We literally have so much trust in this product that we have a $1 million car inside that we're gonna test it out. First up, a brick. Three, two, one! Oh. I would've had a heart attack if anything happened. Level two, a chair. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> what the f My car! It's not surviving level four. So this is how you tie regular shoes, and this is how you tie your shoes in the future. You don't. You don't need laces. Look at that, it's already on. Sheesh. These are laceless shoes from in the future, and this is actually an excellent fit. Like, it's on super tight. This is literally gonna save people so much time. This is the most futuristic suitcase, and I hate carrying my luggage, so this little dude is perfect, and he just follows me everywhere. Also, if you're too late to your flight and are too embarrassed to run, this is perfect. Off to my flight. Woo! I think that's low-key more embarrassing than running. <laughs> you ladies need a ride? After waiting for a whole hour, it's finally time to taste ourselves. Hey. Check that out. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. In three, two, one. Yo, this is actually pretty good. It's okay, I've had better chocolate. Well, I must have had the ass part of the chocolate because it was good. So, you ate Alan's ass? You okay, Alan? You okay? Good. Alan? You okay, Alan? Let's just move on to the next product. This is an unspillable tray. It claims that if you put any drink on it, it won't spill. And to raise the stakes, we have boiling hot chocolate here, and we're gonna find out if that's true. In three, two, one! 
Are you okay, Alex? Alex, are you okay? Alex. So this is a robotic Rubik's Cube solver. And here we have the world record holder for the fastest underwater Rubik's Cube solve. And right now, we're gonna see which one of them can solve a Rubik's Cube fast. And three, two, one, go! Come on, Tanner, you got, oh, there, he's going fast. Oh. What? Oh, no! To be fair, I wasn't underwater though. Well, in my book, you still won. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have a robot that will automatically clean any window, no matter how dirty. Check it out. Oh, 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 literally spraying and cleaning a window at the same time. Oh, Look at that! that. Now we're gonna see if this robot can clean a really dirty window. Go! Yeah. Yeah. Go break the window! Oh, oh. What the hell was that throw, Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Ball egg. <laughs> now the moment of truth. Oh, look at it! Wait, oh, it's hey, actually working. It is working a little bit. Oh, oh my God! God. Hey. I can literally see this replacing skyscraper window jobs. For real. And a lot of women. Whoa! Whoa! Women will never be replaced. Oh, <laughs> ah. 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 That's for women. Next up we have a robotic jar opener. A lot of girlfriends might actually use this to replace their boyfriends. <laughs> Apparently, this thing can open any jar, meaning there's no use for guys anymore. There's no way that little robot's stronger than me. Give me that jar, I'll go first. Oh, that's too easy. But the robot can do just as good of a job. So all you have to do is place this in the middle of the jar and press this button right here. And it supposedly twists off the jar with ease. What the? What the hell? Oh, what? No way. It actually instantly opened the jar. But we have one more test. A jar that's super glued. We have one of the strongest guys we know who's going to attempt to open this. That's right. Robot zero, men one. Oh, no, no. Where did I get that body? You have a minute spot. They hated they never. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell is this? Alright, alright. Well, let's see if the robot can do the impossible. Moment of truth. Oh, it's hard. It's it's having a hard time. Oh, what? Oh, no way! Oh, oh literally God. just did the impossible. Damn it! I don't think he's happy about getting replaced by robots. <laughs> <laughs> For the next product, we have the Elder Airbag Vest. Inside this jacket is an airbag that'll go off and protect you if you fall down. In three, two, one. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> I am kind of dizzy. But it protected you! Did it hurt at all? No, not at all. If it wasn't for the airbag, Sean would have got a concussion there. That's right. Up next, we have the most futuristic TV, which isn't even a TV at all. This is a 200-inch 8K laser projector. Now I'm going to go surprise my friends with this. Whoa! What the hell is this? Is this even real? Dude, I've never seen anything more clear in my life. Me neither. Oh, my God. Dude, this is insane. Up next, we have the future of outdoor gaming, Mechabot. These vehicles can shoot projectiles while moving up to 20 miles an hour. We're going down, Tanner. Let's see about oh, that, Sean. Oh, oh. Come here. Three, two, two one. one. Uh, you don't want this smoke, Tanner. Only with smoked sausage. What? That's why you're fing fat. Shut up before I eat you, Sean. Oh, hell no. Come Next up, we have a robotic tent that sets up by itself. Ooh, I love camping. Let's see if it works. So all you do is stick this piece right in here and it'll set up by itself. Oh, and you just leave it on the ground and it sets up in a few minutes. It's like a blow up mattress tent. Oh, oh. it 
made the frames for us. This tent is so futuristic. It took one minute to blow up. And to test it out, we're gonna have Sean stay here overnight. Wait, why? Why me? No, wait, ah, no, 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 no. What am I supposed to do here? Alan? Is that you? Yeah. 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 Don't come knocking. Oh, I want some of that robo ass. Yeah. Robo ass. Hey, Sean, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Why was the tent shaking then? We were watching Scream and Robocop. Yeah. This might look like a regular bowl of cereal, but it's actually cereal from the future. How? What? It's edible spoons because in the future everything is edible and it's actually so much better because when you're done eating instead of washing your spoon You can just eat it mm, That tastes uh, That was supposed to last us all year How? When I eat a hundred times a day This is Tanner from the future. The future hasn't been kind to you Tanner Next up we have the sound dampening mouthpiece. Apparently when you wear this, it mutes any noise you make. Let's what? try it out. What that mouth do though? <laughs> Wait, I know exactly what I'm gonna use this for. Give me that. Sean, what the f*** is that? This is the real life Iron Man blaster that can shoot projectiles that can pop anything. And we're gonna use this to pop some balloons. Oh! Oh! Yes, sir! Ooh, this thing is too much fun! Trick shot! I actually hit it? Yeah! Dang! I'm gonna charge it up now. Check this one out. Three, two, one! I low-key feel like I could take over the world with this. Next up, we have something that can bring the undead back to life. Oh. The Tesla coil. This thing has the same voltage as a defibrillator. Oh, let's turn it on. In three, two, one. So there's some really cool experiments you can do with this, like Thor's hammer. We're gonna stop playing with this before we get electrocuted. <laughs> Next up, we have the invisible chair. Isn't this so cool? Wait. You're literally just sitting down. There's actually nothing here. Dude, how are you doing this? You wanna know how I do it? It's that third leg holding me up. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Just kidding. Here's the actual invisible chair. Right here. This might look like an ordinary ruler, but it's anything but that. First off, it has really cool lasers on the ruler. Look at this. Whoa. Oh! But what's the main difference between a $1 ruler and a $100 ruler? Well, the difference is a $1. <laughs> Just shut up and film. Yes, sir. Wait, what the? Why is there a mark on two inches? What? what? That's weird. Huh. I'm gonna show you guys a really cool feature this roller can actually do. You can switch it from inches to centimeters what? to meters to millimeters. Oh, that's sick. You can also use this to evenly divide food among your friends using its built in laser division. What? So we're trying to evenly divide this chocolate between three people, and this would be the exact oh, measurement. Or we can just divide it like this. With my teeth. That's literally seven inches of chocolate that he's eating. But can he handle two plus that? This is a personal dryer that shoots out hot air as soon as you step out of the shower. Okay, are we gonna step on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies, I can see you in my view. In my life. This here might be the most futuristic lamp. Check it out. Oh! It floats! Isn't that amazing? <gasps> There's nothing in between. Whoa. Look, I'm gonna leave a setting here. How does it do this? Plugging it in creates an electromagnetic field around the light bulb, causing it to float. Furthermore, alright, right, no one cares. Some of the viewers might. 
No, they don't. Next up, we went to a futuristic cafe where all their servers were robots. That's so cool. Oh. This robot is literally taking us to our table. Tell us to sit here. While you wait for your food, the robot will entertain you by singing, playing YouTube videos, and even dancing. Oh! You know what? I think it wants to have a dance off. Oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> our food's literally coming right now. It said thank you. While we were eating, we learned that some of the robots here were controlled by real people from home. This gives disabled people a chance to go to work by using webcams to see and talk to customers. Can you wave at me? Sure. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Give me the balls. Do you have robot balls? They don't have robot balls. Aww. Bye. Thank you. Dude, it did a heart. It did a heart. It did a heart. <laughs> This is the world's fastest toothbrush. It can brush your teeth in 10 seconds. Damn, that's five seconds longer than it takes me. Uh, oh. The reason it can clean your teeth so fast is because it has 35,000 bristles and vibrates 18,000 times a minute. It's actually 20. Mm. Let's see if it actually works. Damn, how much toothbrush do you need? I don't know how much it's supposed to be. If it actually works, I think this will replace toothbrushes. Do you feel it? Is it working? Mm-hmm. It's kind of giving me a headache. It's just shaking. Oh, what that was do though. Mm -hmm. You don't need to use water on that toothbrush when you got me. <laughs> you feel that mouth working? Yeah, your teeth are looking nice. This next piece of technology can chill your drink in seconds. You guys think it's gonna work? Hell no. no. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Look, the two soda cans are rubbing against the ice. You can literally see it slowly fogging up because of the condensation. Now that's cool. <laughs> Look. Woo! It's yeah, melting it. All right, I think it's done. Ooh, Ooh. It's drink up. Ooh. It's cold. It instantly feels like 30 degrees cooler. Ah. Oh, cold. Ice cold beverage in seconds. <gasps> How's it taste? No way! Ooh, that tastes icy and spicy. I like that. Oh, bravery! Oh! In the future, I have a hundred girlfriends because of my fashion. Oh. Whoa. So Tanner has a full LED outfit on. I guess you can say the future of fashion is very bright. <laughs> <laughs> I like to call this one tying my shoe. Up next, we have one of the craziest things ever. It's fully animatronic and... Wait, where the hell is it? Sean? What? Huh? I'm playing with my brand new Android Play Doll. I've been waiting for this my whole life. I'm about to save this for later. That is the main technology I'm concerned about replacing humans. 